Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the PSA Dagger. They had a Memorial Day sale and they had this for sale for uh, $400. It came with a gun, the raised night sights. It was an optic cut for a, the Doctor Cut, but the Doctor Cut also fits the Vortex Venom, uh, the Vortex Viper, and it also fits the Crimson Trace Dots, which I have a Crimson Trace Dot that I've had for a while. It's been bounced around from gun to gun and it seems to work really well. It's just a single dot. I'll try to line it up there for you. There it is. And so far it's been a really good red dot. It's worked good on everything we've put it on. And we put the standard TLR1 on it. It's not the HL. I have the HL on about three or four other guns. And I just, I like them, so I keep buying them. Right, this is the bag it comes with. It's just a standard bag. Uh, it doesn't have any pockets or anything in it. But it does have a few mag holders. And it's got a, it came with piece of velcro you can put in here to hold the gun in place which we don't need to use anymore because it's got a flashlight and a red dot and it does not fit in that little holder anymore but let's face it it's a gun named after a knife it's a gun called a dagger so if you get pulled over and you're driving the cops like do you have any guns in your car you be like no i got a dagger that was not legal advice the compact dagger is the same size as a Glock 19. You can see that they are almost identical in height and width and they are both cleared. Both of these guns are unloaded and unchambered. There are no loaded mags on my table. And this being a Glock clone you can use a slide on a Gen 3 Glock 19. Now it did come with a raised night sights and they stick up just above the red dot and they work as about a lower one-third co-witness. The trigger on the dagger is decent. It's not great, but I mean, it's a, you know, you can buy the gun by itself for 300 bucks. So it's a, th it's a decent trigger for a $300 gun. When you, you can see the take up on it, it's got about that much take up and then a little bit of more creep and she breaks and it's got about that much travel to reset and then a little more creep and it breaks again. The mag release is not interchangeable to the other side like on the Gen 4 and Gen 5 Glock and it's kind of sharp. It's small, it's got some sharp edges on it, but it really doesn't affect me. I shoot left-handed and it doesn't affect my trigger finger at all. I just do like I do on all my guns. I just use my index finger to eject the mag. And this does eject the mags pretty decently. Uh, I noticed the 15 round mags didn't want to drop completely free. I had to help. But I think with uh, shooting this more often, it'll probably just kind of smooth up that mag well a little more. And the, the mag should drop free after time. Now we took this out, we put 350 rounds through it. I know that is not a big testament to how many rounds these guns are good for. Uh, we had one malfunction out of 350 rounds. And I know that that was ammo related. I was using a bunch of old reloads that I'd had. And I was just, I'm trying to get rid of some of the older stuff because I switched powders. I went from a uh, tight group and started using CFE pistol. I like CFE pistol way better so I'm shooting up all my old tight group reloads. I've seen these come in different colors. I know this is the FDE model. Uh, you can also get an FDE slide. I think they have green. I think I've seen gray. I'm not 100%. They come in black also. But there's different color combinations for these. There's different optics cut configurations for these. Uh, I've seen them with the threaded barrels, non-threaded barrels. They got standard sights, night sights. They got some of them have the blacked out sights like this one has which I kind of like the blacked out sights better with a red dot because it doesn't it's just a let one less dot you're looking for when you're looking for your red dot so to me these work pretty well inside of this looks just like a Glock it's like I say they did a really good job on this being a Glock clone I'm not going to show you how it comes together and goes back or comes apart and goes back together because YouTube's kind of funny on that and that changes it seems to be weekly it doesn't seem to go back together as well as the Glock. you got to kind of work a little bit. The action is it's kind of loose on the top where the Glock is pretty stiff, pretty smooth. Uh, but for a budget-friendly gun, the PSA Dagger is a very valid option, in my opinion. Because you can pick the gun up by itself for $300, or you can spend an extra $100. They usually have sales for the $400, like we, got, we bought this with 515 round mags and 527 round mags and the case I mean it's you can't beat that for the 
price. But we plan on shooting this more. We're going to put more rounds through it. Uh, we'll probably do like a 1500, maybe a 2000 round test. Because we got quite a few reloads to get rid of. And uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments. I'll answer them best I can. And we'll do a full uh, review on this later. And we'll do a full comparison between this and the Glock 19. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Stay safe and let's take back our Second Amendment.